Today I wanted to share this video with you guys and just kind of like share the process of me getting ready. I have a job interview or I had a job interview. Technically it already happened, but this is the intro to the video so it hasn't happened for you yet. I went to a job interview um, today. I basically just got up early and decided to like bring you guys along on the process of me getting ready for it. Oh my god, it's so hot. I'm already sweating. I just turned off the fan to make this video. LA is so hot, it's ridiculous. That's gonna be the theme of every single video I put out for the next like month. <laughs> Before we get into the video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I come out with new videos. And also go ahead and like the video because you know it's gonna be good, so yeah. <laughs> All right, um, into it? Hello, 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 good morning. This is my head wrap that I wear every night. <laughs> I look like a baker in like a cartoon. <laughs> um, I just woke up a little while ago. I need to get ready for this job interview. I'm gonna get really, uh, I'm gonna get ready really early because I have to do my makeup. It's for like a makeup position. So, you know, I wanna look like bomb as shit, y'all. And I'm gonna show you guys the process of getting from this. And then we'll do like a little transition shit so you can see what I look like later. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat breakfast first. So let's do that. Gravity that sucked me in your orbit There's no magnet that was in your heart The one restriction was the friction That was keeping us a little too far apart well, Why I fight it? I was secretly delighted I gave chase and then I let you win You felt lovely when you loved me like a fool But now I can't let go of your skin You know that I never knew you are crazy glue, my darling And I'm stuck to you But I'm cozy and I don't wanna wiggle loose You're honey like a finger in the beehive The bees are buzzing in a tizzy fit And they're stinging but I'm singing like a fool Cause you're as sweet as a banana split You're sticky like a hit I'm so scared to film this clip. My phone is very precariously placed on the windowsill in my shower, and I must have turned my shower on, which is water, so... <laughs> I'm scared. But you are crazy glue, darling, and I'm stuck to you, but I'm cozy and I don't wanna wiggle loose. I don't wanna wiggle I threw on that same t-shirt that I was wearing uh, before when I started the video. I actually didn't sleep in this. I actually sleep naked. I did put this back on because I didn't want to be in my towel while I was doing this because I'm going to record and you know it's just been falling down this whole time I've ever been recording anyways so I wanted to make sure I didn't do that again. So this is like how I usually do my makeup. We're actually at the end of my bed right now. You guys are propped on my suitcase because <laughs> I just got back from, L from Georgia to LA and um, I'm still living out of suitcases. We'll be fixing that soon but yeah. So 
as you guys could tell by the title, I'm going to a job interview today. It's kind of a weird feeling because I'm gonna just talk about this. I'm a little nervous to talk about it because I feel like it might just be a like weird thing that I went through that nobody else understands. I'm not quite sure. For the past like year, I haven't had a job um, because I was trying to focus on just building my like business ideas and like entrepreneurial stuff. I had this whole like idea, very like idealistic idea that in order to be like an entrepreneur, in order to like run your own thing, that it's very important to not get a job, to just focus on what you're doing and not like get a job or do anything for money or like whatever you know I mean you can do things for money but like if you're doing it it needs to be like freelance or whatever you know that was kind of like my mindset la, 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 la. <laughs> I still kind of feel like it's important to get like if you're gonna get a job like get a job that like you actually like that's something that you are interested in which is why um, the job that I am applying for today is related to makeup because I love makeup I'm gonna get real real with y'all so the way that it turned out like while I was having my whole year of trying not to get like a job I honestly ended up quite like depressed in myself because when you're over the age of 21 first of all I want to give like a little disclaimer advice that if you're under the age of 21 and you're watching this video honestly stop watching this video go figure out something that you can do that you can be building until you turn 18 and until you like move out of your parents house or whatever because or until you turn into an adult not even move out of your parents house once you turn 18 the whole world changes your parents don't want to be paying for you to live at their house for much longer. They love you, they will, they will help you, they will support you, but they don't want to. <laughs> and they don't like want to be like funding your fun, especially um, like if you're trying to do something that is kind of modern, like, like I was, like I was trying to work on like e-commerce and um, social media and all that kind of stuff that honestly like, older people like my parents and stuff don't fully understand everything about it they and like honestly even if they did understand everything about it like no one in the world is responsible to make your dreams come true you know other than you you can't rely on other people to take care of you you have to take care of yourself once you come of age basically over the past like year kind of like really worked myself into like quite a depressive state because i allowed myself to be just very much so taken care of by everyone else around me and when i say taken care of i really wasn't taken care of at all because the people around me like like sure maybe they wanted to pay for my food or like give me a roof over my head but like things like ubering to go see my friend like they don't want to pay for that so it's like i just don't get to see my friend or buying certain snacks at the store that aren't like necessary which seems like dumb shit but like it's real shit like on a deeper level investing back into my business like they definitely especially if they don't understand what you're doing like they definitely don't want to be doing that I think maybe some people are lucky enough to be in a situation where they have family that um, genuinely wants to make everything work for them and genuinely can afford it because most people can't even afford it regardless of if they understand and they want to like most households can't afford to just have someone in their house like making it work and they're just paying all the bills financially it just doesn't make sense Basically, I tried that for like a long time. It really kills your confidence, especially like as an adult. In these early 20s, it's very important to find things to accomplish, like to start building your life. It's the, that's This is the period of your life where you do that. I still have my same dreams and I'm still gonna work on them, but how I felt before was that if I 
divided my attention between my dreams and making a living that I would never make my dreams come true and honestly more than anything now I feel like if I have that grind to both make a living and also recognize that I want to make my dreams come true that it'll push me harder actually to make my dreams come true like I don't necessarily know if that's the right path for everyone um but I know for me that like there's just little things that like you gotta do what you gotta do my parents aren't gonna pay for the subscription to my website my domain um they're not gonna pay for me to uber to go meet with photographers for pictures you know like they would want to and they would try to make it work but they have a lot of other things that they were doing and it really honestly shouldn't even be their responsibility it shouldn't be anyone's responsibility but my own to be completely honest that's kind of like my thoughts on that i think that there's a lot out there nowadays like with social media and like pushing people to be entrepreneurs and all that it makes people feel like influencers and stuff don't have jobs and that they're just making lots of money off of like youtube and all this kind of stuff but honestly a lot of them are lying that's why they can't post like all this freaking time and that's why they don't like i don't know daily vlog or whatever like a lot of people like like the people who are really making it happen i mean from like the start who are just starting out and they're like trying to make it happen like they're grinding they're doing a lot it's not easy it's and they're not like relying on other people to make it happen for them they're relying on themselves and god and that's just my perspective that i think that uh whatever situation you're in you need to look at your situation and be realistic i'm lucky to be in the situation where until my bigger dreams come true I at least know I have some place to fall back on. Maybe I don't want to all the time because, you know, it kind of sucks to be over like the age of 18 and still living at home. To be honest, like <laughs> it doesn't feel that great. But at the same time, like it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make in order to like focus on what I want to do. But I can't make that sacrifice and force other people like my parents to make the sacrifice with me and to give me all their money and all of that like there has to be compromise in any situation that you're in you know so far i have put on this new concealer which i kind of actually like you guys might want to try it. it's the covergirl outlast all day concealer you know i think now that i'm looking at it i might have actually heard of it before when i picked it up i thought it was like an unknown like thing or whatever but now oh i was getting oily but now i feel like i actually like may have heard of this like on a youtube video or something but yeah it's pretty good concealer the only thing i'll say is it dries kind of fast so i try to do it like section by section and blend it in as i go fit me powder i'm using quite a bit of powder because i have to take the train and the bus to get to my job interview and i'm trying to pack it on because la is hot as shit and i'm trying to make sure that i don't sweat this shit off probably gonna do a little bit more complicated of an eye look today because it's a makeup interview so i want it to like look you know a little fancier just gonna start off with like a transition color i always use just like a kind of slightly darker than my skin tone like taupish color in the crease Ooh, but i am wearing this red skirt so i think i'm gonna do red lips so i'm actually gonna tone down the eyes a little bit should i do red lips or should i do like a fancier eye what is more like impressive when it comes to makeup uh, I also usually contour my nose with the same like transition color. I like a sister snatched nose contour. Ah, James Charles is my shit! He's the one who taught me to go across the bridge, James Charles. All of a sudden, homegirl got a whole ass nose. My nose is very straight, but like all of a sudden, it's not. And I got a little pointy. <laughs> 
Did I really say that all of a sudden I have a whole ass nose? As in like before I had like a half ass nose. <laughs> yes, beats. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, I still never decided whether or not I was gonna do red lips or a fancy eye look. I'm feeling like Yeah, let's do a neutral eye. And we'll do the red lips because I think that it always looks classy and it's easier. And I don't want to like, you know, I'm kind of nervous right now. I don't want to mess up this thing, even though like I feel like I got the skills. I don't want to take any chances. That's smart, bitch. Yes. Ooh, since we are going to keep it neutral, I'm going to clean up my eyelid with some concealer so that it can be like very um, like cut crease, but still like neutral. I try to like put it on my eye and then look up so that it like reaches that spot like right above your crease because I feel like nobody ever like when they look around like you can't really see a cut crease but like if you do that it's like you can still see it. I learned that from I think Jamie Genevieve. Ooh yes girl this is cute. <laughs> yeah the <to> be. <laughs> But beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> okay, gotta be a little careful, gotta be a little careful. Yes, it's so simple and like cute, I love it. I love it. Okay, I feel like that's really cute. It looks kind of like um, a little 50s-ish. Am I describing that correctly? I'm not sure. Um. I want to add a little bit more darkness to my crease. Yeah, I just blend that a little bit more because like I'm not gonna like, you know, put glitter there or anything. So I want it to like be a little bit less dark, a little bit less cut creasy, but still very like bright. You know what I mean? I should add a little bit of darkness to the outer corner just so we have some more dimension. Yes. Ooh, that's really cute. I always feel like I turn into like a whole different person when I'm doing my makeup. Like, usually I'm like kind of chill, but when I'm doing my makeup, like I just turn into like queen of the ballrooms, bitch. <laughs> and I say bitch a lot. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all wasn't thinking I was really gonna step out of the house with it not blended like that. Yeah, no, that wasn't gonna happen. We be blending. We be blending. But we don't blend in. We stand out. <laughs> That's cute. Especially if I had my eyebrows done. That would be real cute. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm definitely not gonna talk in this. <gasps> I just realized I've been recording with the fan on this whole time. Oh no. So, good news. You guys could actually hear me. Bad news, it just sounded really terrible. I'm really sorry for that, but I turned the fan off now. <laughs> okay, eyebrows are done, except for I just need to run some uh, brow gel through them. I just got a notification that we are an hour out from when I need to leave for my interview. So we probably need to um, speed this process on up. But has anyone thought about Michelle Phan lately? Where did she go? I'm using actually this um, palette. It's the Lorac Gold palette. There's like this color, it's the undeniable one up at the top. It kind of looks like a contour color for me. Honestly, I ran out of contour a while ago, hence also why I need to get a job. Um, So I'm using this instead. Yes, yeah, she is a snatched queen. Yeah. The full face I'm making, it really helps you find your contour. Oh yes, I'm a little innocent girl and I'm blushing now. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm so cute, yes, yes. You, I love that. Yeah. Like my chin, a little bit on my forehead. 
That shit's cute. I love that. I really like blush. I don't know why I don't wear it more often. I'm just gonna do a little tiny line. <sighs> it's already hard and I like just touched my eye. Whew. If I was this much of a perfectionist on a regular basis, people would never see me. Oh fuck. Ooh, I touched my eyeball. I'm gonna hit the setting spray and do some highlighting. Okay, girl. Mm, that's not cute at all, but it's okay. I wish I had a lip liner, but I don't have a line that matches this. Okay, I feel good about this. Just the makeup alone because the hair looks terrible. And I really need to change, it's hot. Ah. Wanna wiggle loose. I don't wanna wiggle loose. All right, y'all, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I just left the job interview, it went well, and I'm about to go find my bus home. <laughs> so, uh, wish me luck. Oh, and make sure that you subscribe. Okay, rude. Anyways, like I was saying, I think you guys can hear me now. Um, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you'll know when I come out with new videos. Uh, and yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>